What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and today is going to be a pretty impromptu video that I actually didn't plan to make, but I just did this on complete accident. So I recently acquired this Galaxy Note 4 um, in this exact condition. Um, as you can see, it's missing the back cover and the S Pen. It has a battery that is pretty fairly uh, well worn out, and also one of the battery pins is currently bent although as you can see it's not really bent anymore and that's because I bent it back and again like I didn't I didn't actually get this on film because I didn't expect it to actually work but it also has a cracked camera lens and as you can see it's marked as won't boot broken battery pin and that's because I had this battery in it and when you connected it up to the charger the battery icon would pop up and then it would just go flat again, and then it wouldn't. It would never get past that. It would never boot up. So, and that's because this battery pin was bent. So, I just fixed it. So, unfortunately, I can't really re-demonstrate this, but I, I will show you exactly what I did because I did not expect this to actually work. So, which I guess is good. So, definitely try this. I'm not gonna force unbend it again because if if you bend it too many times, it might just snap off. And of course, if it snaps off, then your phone. Then at least the part with the battery connector won't work again. But as but this this pen was actually the bottom of this pin was actually pushed out of the phone and was completely bent off in the wrong direction. So what I did is I just took a SIM card tool. It'd probably be better to use a plastic pry tool, but this is just I was literally just messing around and then I did this. And I just basically grabbed the tip of this, which was sticking out of the phone. It was sitting right about here, and I just pressed it back into its slot. You know, just pressed it back down into the corner of the slot where the pin's supposed to connect to the board. And so I did that. And then once I did that, the, um, you know, it, then it was just kind of bent a little bit. So all I did is I put this battery back in, the original one, and then I tried to power it on. And it didn't do anything. As you can see, I'm going to try to power on right now. It doesn't do anything. But I have another Note 4. And this is a Verizon variant with a busted screen. So I'm going to take the battery out of this one. And this actually is a knockoff, like a fake Chinese knockoff battery. And you can tell it's not a very good fake either. Like this looks horrible. But it's just a test battery, so no big deal. And so I push this in. And presumably this battery also is a little bit tighter than usual OEM batteries. So I think with that, it ended up reseeding that pin, because now I put that battery back in, it's a little, a little bit snug, and I hold the power button, and then boom, Samsung Galaxy Note 4. And it's never booted up before, but now, all of a sudden, it's booting up. So I basically just unintentionally fixed this issue with the bent battery pin, and of course, in this case, it was the fourth pin, so the one closest to the left side of the device from the front. And there we go. So now it's booting up just fine. I didn't plan that at all. I don't have this pin, because this is just some random person's pin. It was someone who traded it in at work, and of course, yeah, I don't think I have any way to get into this. Yeah, whatever. So, um... But yeah, so that's just what I did, and I ended up fixing the bent battery pin on the Galaxy Note 4. So, I mean, that's just what I did, and it ended up working for me, so I don't know if it'll work for you guys, but um, it worked for me, and again, I didn't catch it on video, me actually doing it, because I didn't expect it to do anything, but it actually ended up working, and it took a device that previously would not turn on and wouldn't boot up because of the bent pin, and actually fixed it so I don't know if this will help you guys I don't know again I'm not gonna guarantee this will work because this might have just been a fluke but it worked for me so I wanted to share it and but yeah so basically just I just used my um, I just used my sim card tool that I have on my keys just just bent the pin back in stuck it back into the slot and then put, put a battery in so that way I put pressure on it apparently reconnected it or something and it made at least a solid enough connection to where it's now able to work just fine so it seems like as long as I keep a battery in it and this should get power I don't know if 
like I know normally if the battery pops out it'll shut off I don't know if that'll it's like there it just oh no that was just the screen but yeah so like it's working fine still has that shattered camera lens but I did do another video on how to fix the uh, camera lens did I upload that video? I don't know if I did. I'll have to check. If not, I'll have to upload that video. But I thought I already uploaded that video on how to fix the camera lens, and I think I demonstrated it on a Note 5. But yeah, so that's how to fix. All right, maybe I shouldn't say that's how to fix, but that's how I fixed. That's how I fixed the uh, bent battery pin on a Galaxy Note 4. So I'm, I'm going to upload this because I'm curious if this will work for you guys. But yeah, so if your Galaxy Note 4 has a bent battery pin, try this and let me know if it works. Again, I can't guarantee it does because this is just a one-off thing. This might have been a fluke, but I wanted to share it just in case it works for someone else. If at least if this at least fixed one person's phone, then you know what? This video is worth it. So, oh, and I'm dialing emergency numbers. That's not good. Anyways, this is Intellitech Studio signing out with a quick tutorial on how I fixed and repaired my Galaxy Note 4 and got it to boot up again. And uh, this isn't my only Note 4, as you can tell. I'm uh, swimming in Note 4s at the moment uh, because this is my personal Note 4. And then this is one that I was using for the, for the updated review, and I dropped it and broke the screen, so I got to fix that. And then this one's all good as well, but now it has a pin, so now I got to worry about... I'm assuming it has a Google account on it, so I'm probably going to have to FRP bypass it. But if I get if I do that, then I might do a video on that as well. So, anyway guys, this is Teletech Studio signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.